The transmission fluid temperature sensor goes bad quite often. The transmission range switch goes bad. Here's one engine compartment fuse box went bad. Transmission fluid temperature sensor. But that doesn't mean, you know, if there's not a, a common failure for it to go bad, that it doesn't mean that it's, you know, it can't go bad on this particular vehicle. Um, you know, and what, you, what you're going to have to do, if you're checking for low voltage, you're going to, what I would do is, just, again, just turn the headlights on and just check for low voltage. You know, A, start at the battery, make sure the charging system's not under or overcharging. B, make sure the battery connections and cables are clean and tight. Make sure the battery passes a load test. And then I would, with a voltmeter, I would start checking for power at the fuses, you know, not only under the hood, but then inside the vehicle. And then what you could do is you could check for low voltage to the transmission components. And you might even be able to do that using a compatible scan tool. It might, all this, uh, some of the sensors like the, the valves, the solenoids inside the transmission, they might be able to give you a voltage reading under live data with your scan tool. Correct. Correct. But yeah, that is odd. I agree. <laughs> Something's going on. <laughs> How many miles are on it? <laughs> I got 300,000. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's grounds for uh, electrical gremlins. You know, there's definitely something something's going on. I wouldn't, you know, wouldn't be surprised if something really odd is going on. You know, right. bad connection, uh, charging system issue. Maybe every once in a while, <clears throat> you know. And um, let me ask you a really silly question: Have you checked for codes in the, communication when this problem is occurring? No, I have not. And I'll tell you why. This is, and, and here's the thing. Let's just say we have a bad computer on board the vehicle, a bad module. And for whatever reason, it just goes bad anytime you turn on the headlights. And now we have a communication issue with not only that smart junction box or that, that circuit board in the fuse box that we talked about earlier, but then it's affecting some of the other circuits other mo other modules on board the vehicle so i would yeah absolutely make sure that there's no communication issue with any of the computers on board the vehicle uh, okay. so i would i would just bring the scan tool with you i take it for a spin or maybe if you can get it to act up you know where you know in a driveway or in a you know where you're not out driving on the road where that would be unsafe it would be best just start the engine, turn the headlights on, plug it in, and hopefully you can get it to act up. That way, you know, when you're parked in a safe spot, then you could look at the live data and make sure that, you know, nothing, A, the computers are communicating and, and nothing looks, you know, if, if you can read the live data, then nothing looks out of the ordinary, you know? Yeah, it acts so, so you turn the lights on. It, <laughs> so you can, so it'll definitely act up. So the moment you turn the headlights, so it's yeah, yeah. in park. Okay. Well, that, hey, that's good news because, if I was a technician working on it, it would it would make my job a whole lot easier. <laughs> yeah. It, it's baffling me though. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, that, that's the only time it does. Uh, car runs fine, runs great, up and down the interstate, everything whole nine yards. You turn the headlight on, it it dies down for a minute, and when it picks back up, the traction control lights on, and it's blinking, and you know. How the car shuts down when you try to put gas to it because he tracks control on that's to keep from, you know, losing control and stuff. Right. Well, maybe the traction control light is coming on because maybe the ABS module isn't communicating only at that time. Right, right. You know, but but if you want, you can run some tests and then just reply back online and let me know what you find and we can go from there. All right. Thanks a lot. All right. You're welcome. Good luck, okay? All right, bye-bye.